Hey everyone, so today's Beauty on a Budget video is with Essence Makeup and today's look is a pin-up style makeup look and it cost me €19.93 to create this look so if you'd like to see how I achieved it then just keep watching. So starting off with the eyes, I'm going to take this eyeshadow quad here which is, has very neutral colours in it and I'm going to take the first shade and that's the highlight shade and I'm going to apply this just beneath my brow bone. Now maybe you would want to fill in your eyebrows after you do your eyeshadow as you can get some powder in your brows. Next I'm taking this colour which I'm going to put all over the lid, it's a kind of champagne colour. And now I'm taking this dark brown and I'm going to apply it straight into my crease. I'm using a tapered blending brush to create a nice sharp defined crease. Then I'm going in with a definer brush and I'm going to pack the eyeshadow from that line and blend it upwards. I'm doing this because I want most of the definition to be at the base of the crease. I also find it a lot easier to start blending with your shader or definer brush. It then makes buffing out the colour with your blending brush so much easier. So I'm just using circular motions to buff out the remainder of the eyeshadow. Now if you've lost some of the intensity in the crease, don't worry, just go back in and start blending again. Then I'm going to take this shimmery brown shade and I'm going to apply this above the brown we just applied. Now I actually applied too much onto my brush, I forgot to tap off the excess, so make sure you do that. If you don't, it's not a problem, you're just going to have some extra blending to do. Now with regard to eyeliner, if you're a beginner, I'd use a felt tip eyeliner. Or if you have a bit more experience, I'd use a liquid liner. Liquid liners can sometimes be tricky to apply. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking the liquid eyeliner. Now my one is actually an old one. Essence have changed their packaging since. But all you have to do is create a cat eye effect with the eyeliner. So just make sure you wing it out. Then I'm going to take the darkest brown that we applied at the base of our crease and I'm going to smoke this down halfway across the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take that highlight shade and apply it just around the tear duct. Then I'm going to apply a couple of coats of this mascara and that finishes off the eye makeup look. So now it's time for the face. I'm going to take this clear and matte foundation in the shade Porcelain. I'm going to apply a blob on the back of my hand and then I'm going to take my stippling brush and really work the product into the brush. Then I'm going to stipple it onto my face making sure that I really work the product into the skin. Once I've stippled it then I'm going to use circular motions to blend the foundation out. This is going to give me a really airbrushed finish. For smaller areas of the face, like under the eyes, the forehead and the nose, I like to use the traditional painter style foundation brush. So next I'm going to start with the lips. So I'm taking this red lip liner and I'm applying it onto my lips. I'm going to start by outlining the lips and then filling them in. This lip liner is absolutely gorgeous to work with, it's extremely creamy, it glides onto the lips easily and it lasts really long as well. Then I'm going to apply a gloss over top of the lip liner and the reason I filled in my lips with the lip liner first was because if the gloss runs off then you won't have that lined uh, lip effect, the lips will be filled in so it's going to fade naturally. So as well you want to make sure that you get right into the corners of your lips, you don't want any gaps left. So the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a matte bronzer and I'm going to start to sculpt the face. So I'm going to apply it um, to my cheekbones and really blend it out. So that completes the makeup look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful and I'll see you in my next video.